Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to knit this newborn baby's hat. It uh, was a request from one of my subscribers in my channel and it was in Spanish, it was a request and I decided to do it in Spanish and English. Uh, for those beginners that want to make a newborn baby's hat. I have, you can make it any color you like. This is the other one that I made in the Spanish tutorial and this is the English. They look really nice and they are very comfy for the baby. Well, here is a video on how to make this beautiful baby hat. To make this uh, newborn baby's hat, the knitting needle, I'm going to use their 5 millimeter, that is a circular needle, but I'm going to do a open hat, that way I will sew it after, for those ones that they don't have a circular needle, and only have the straight ones, and they wanted to do it that way. Um, the yarn that I'm going to use is a Red Heart Comfort Sport, it's pink, you're going to need a uh, tapestry needle for sewing your hat, scissors and a measuring tape to measure the length of the hat. If you don't have a measuring tape, I'm going to give you exactly how many row I'm going to give to my hat. That way you know, just in case you don't have a measuring tape. To start, we're going to grab our tail and we're going to wrap around our needle 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. You're gonna grab, let go, and grab that tail, and you're gonna fold it in half. And whatever that tail ends, you're going to grab it there, and that will be the length of the tail you're going to leave for your 60 stitches that we're going to cast on on our needle. You're going to grab your yarn, and you're going to wrap around your thumb and your pointing finger, and grab the yarn here, like this. And you're going to grab your needle, and you're going to go through here, pass it through the back here, and the front of this one, and give it a twist and you're going to give a little twist to your hand that way you can pass your needle through the back of this one here and twist it back and put it through let go of the thumb and pull and you will have your first uh, stitch in your needle I'm going to do it one more time and trying to do this for beginners so I'm going to let go you grab your needle again pass it through this one in the back this one in the front you give it a twist to the needle and a twist of your hand. You grab this one through the back, twist back, and you pass it through there, through that little X that is forming there, you pass it just through there. I let it loose. It's a sec. Like that. Through here. Let go of the thumb, and you have your first stitch. Now you're going to grab it's a V like that, and grab this one through the front, and in between here, you see, and twist, grab this one, and pass it through, like that, let go, you see, like this, grab it there, let go, and you have your third one, like that, you're going to cast 60 stitches, this was a petition uh, for a lady that is subscribed to my channel, she wanted to learn how to do a newborn baby hat, a very simple one because she's a beginner. And then I did this in Spanish and I decided to do it in English for those when they are beginner and want to do a newborn baby hat, just a simple little hat. I'm going to show you the one that I did in Spanish. This one in turquoise and like that I'm going to do a pink one. This uh, hat is good for a boy or a girl and you can do any color you wish to make. Okay, I'm going to continue casting on my 60 stitches and I will meet you here when I'm finished. Here I finished my 60 stitches and now I'm going to do a knot here but no too tight. You don't want it to uh, tie too much that first stitch. So you're going to do a little knot there. Just to secure but not too over tight. Now you're going to grab your needle and you're going to do two knit and two purl.
and that is for the brim of the hat. The first one I don't gonna knit, I just gonna pass it to the other side, to the next needle, and now I gonna knit one. That counts as a two knit, and now I gonna purl two. One. These needles are a little slippery. One and two. Two purl, and now we're going to do two net. Pass it through the other side of the yarn, and now we're going to do one and two net. Let me do a little more slow. You, know, you pass your yarn in front of this needle, and your right hand is here. You're going to pass it through the front, and you're going to pass it through the front there. That's turn the yarn. And you're going to wrap it around the back of that needle and you're going to purl one and the same, same, two. Now you pass your yarn to the back and you're going to net, grab the step for the same strand of yarn there on the top and you're going to wrap it around and net one and two. Like that, you're gonna do your 60 stitches. Net one and net two and purl two. One and two purl. And to the back and net two. So I will meet you here at the end of this row. And you start with two net, you're gonna finish with two purl. Here I finished row number one, and I finished with two purl. And here, when I turn my work around, will be two net. I'm gonna pass my first one to the needle like this, and I'm gonna do my net again. And now pass my yarn and do two purl. Like this, we're going to do six row. Two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl. If you want it uh, wider, your little brim like this, wider, you can do more row. But I like the, the size because it's very proportioned to the side of the hat. And it's for a newborn baby that they already have tiny little heads. So it looks nice like that. Six row I give to this one here. And it's exactly the same. Two net, two pearl. Two net, two pearl. Knit in the net and pearl the pearls. Like this. And I wanted to remind you, if you are use bigger needles, the hat going to be bigger. So it will be, no for a newborn, more for like a 3 months old baby, 3 to 6 months, if you use a bigger needle. Or a bigger yarn too. And if you use a smaller needle, remember the hat will be smaller. So everything is proportion to the size of the needle and the yarn that you use. So I'll meet you here at the end of rough sex. That will be exactly the same. Two net, two pearl. Two net, two pearl. And you turn your work around, it will be exactly the same. Two net, two pearl. For six row. So I'll meet you there when I get to my six row. This is row number two. Here I finish uh, my six row. And this measure two and a half centimeters. And now we're going to start our um, stitches for the top of the hat. We're going to do a row of net and a row pearl. A row net and a row pearl. We knit the net and purl the pearl. 
So we're gonna do pass the first one stitch to the next the needle, and we're gonna net this row. All nets, just like this. Nice and easy. And like I say, if you use a thicker yarn and bigger needle, will be for an older uh, baby. But if you use the same size needle and the same size yarn, uh, you can uh, do uh, more stitches, cast on more stitches, and make the hat bigger for a uh, older kid. Right now, I don't have time to make any more hats because I go on a trip uh, December. Uh, 14 to visit my family and I will be back the 21st and or the 22nd I'll be back the 22nd and then just in time for Christmas and after that I will be making more videos and then I will make a few more baby hats different ways in different colors too and I have quite a few petition but I have to to wait until I come back, that way I can do some of them. I don't can please everybody, sorry if sometimes somebody asks me for something and I cannot make it, it's that I don't know how to do it. I don't know everything, I hardly know, and I, ha I know just a little bit of crochet and net. So I'm learning as I go, as you guys learning, as you guys making this. Like that, we're going to net all this row. I will meet you here at the end of this row. Here I finished row number 7 with the net row. And I'm going to turn my work around. And now I'm going to do a row of pearl. I'm going to pass my first stitch to the other needle. And then now I'm going to do this row of pearl. And like that, we're going to do this row. 30 stitches like this. Net in the net and pearl in the pearls. Um, for a total of 36 row. The 6 one here and 30 more. And this will measure 15 centimeters long. The little baby hat. That's why you need a measuring tape just in case you're using different needles you will know, uh, know the length that you want to give. Like this, you're going to do this row. The next row will be a net, and the other one a pearl, like that. So I'll meet you here when I have my 15 centimeters long, or 30 stitches more, plus this one 36. You just have to do this. Knit and purl. It's a very simple hat for beginners. I hope I don't done this too fast for you. That way you can do it. Those beginners. Well, I will meet you here when I have 30 more row. Well, 30 row plus this one 36. Uh, when I'm a little bit, have a little bit more done, I will show you how it's looking. Here I wanted to show you how the hat is coming so far. Look how nice it starts to look now. And remember there are a 30 of this stitch plus this 6 and total 15 centimeter before we start casting off or binding off. Okay? So I'm going to continue until I have the length that I want. Here I finish with my 30 row at this stitch of the net, and with these ones here in the bottom in total are 36 row, and in total I measure is 15 centimeters long, 6 inches. Just in case you don't have a measuring tape, I give you the rows, and if you don't have a centimeters and you have inches, is 6 inches long. 
Now we're going to decrease uh, our rows. It's very easy. This hat is uh, either for boy or girl. You know, uh, you can do any color you like. Okay, to decrease, I'm going to do this row of net and I'm going to knit all of them two together. Okay. You need these two together and the next two together like this. These are very slippery needles. Okay. You're going to end with 30 uh, stitches in your needle. Now we're just making the little top of the hat. Like that. Let me show you in the blue, uh, the turquoise. Like that. This is the part we are making for the hat. I don't know if I mentioned, you can put a pom-pom if you like in the top of your hat, but uh, for me, if uh, the little baby was mine, I don't put uh, a pom-pom in a newborn because their little neck are so fragile that, that and the pom-pom is a little heavy. You want not to have any weight in their head. So I recommend for the pom-poms later on, you know, after a couple of months, they're a couple of months old. Like that, we're going to continue. But if you make a pom-pom, a tiny little pom-pom, very light, very, uh, with a little bit of uh, yarn in it, very small, you can put a small pom-pom. But that is up to you. Like that, you're going to continue decreasing two by two until you have 30 stitches in your needle. I will continue off camera and I will meet you here for the next row. Here I finished that row with uh, 30 uh, stitches in my needle. Now I'm going to turn my work around and now I'm going to do the same same uh, two together but with a pearl. First was a net and now the pearl. Okay, I'm going to start by pearl on these two together. It's a little difficult <laughs> to show on the camera and to do it at the same time. Okay, you're gonna continue doing this, decreasing two at a time with the pearl stitch for a total of 15 stitches left in your needle. Okay, so I will meet you here when I finish this row, and I will show you what to do in the next one. So you're gonna continue doing these two together, two together, till you have your 15 stitches like this here I finish this row I have 15 stitches on my needle now I'm gonna do the same same but this time I'm gonna have 8 because uh, I'm gonna do 2 together and the last one I'm gonna just uh, knit it by itself because 15 don't have a pair so I'm gonna leave the last one and in total we're gonna end with a, a stitches on, on our needle okay so you're gonna do exactly the same same this time except for the last one they're gonna be just one single net we almost finish our little baby hat And you can make this in different color or look nice in different colors. Like this. Almost finished.
and you see the last one we just gonna knit that one and we finish with our decrease and now we're gonna cut our yarn long enough for sewing it's better to cut extra long than no long enough so I like to cut a little extra just in case now we're gonna get our tapestry needle and we're gonna pass it through these A stitches you're gonna grab, you see this one like that you're gonna put it through there and through all of them see well enough and you just finish there pull this tight here I'm gonna pass again because I like this to be nice and secure I'm gonna pass it one more time for all those eight stitches like this And there we have the little circle at the top, nice and round. You see? And now I'm gonna sew in a zigzag uh, stitch. You grab one from this side, from from this side. I recommend not to pull too tight because you will have a wrinkle or too tight in that side. You want it nice and loose like the other stitches you see that are nice and loose. You want to sew nice and loose, not too tight. So you're gonna sew all these all the way to the end and make sure that you go uh, sewing evenly the same stitch each side because we have the same amount and that way it will be even in the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna continue doing this off camera, sewing my seam here. And I'll meet you here at the end to show you the end result. You see the top look really nice. You don't need a pom pom to hide it because it looks really nice. Okay, I'll meet you here at the end. Here I finished the hat. It looks beautiful. I love the way uh, it look. It's a, a small little baby's hat. And it looks really nice in the top. Here, in the seam. If you like, like I said, you can put a very small pom pom something like this, I have a tiny little here is white, but just to show you something very small that is very light because like I said, the newborn babies have the very fragile little neck, so you don't want to push too much weight in their head uh, I hope you like it give it a thumbs up if you like it um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and have a beautiful holiday and a happy new year thank you for watching, bye